Today, we're gonna be finding out what it'd be like to play Mario Odyssey if you were 2D Mario. My friend Amethyst made it so that you can play as him anywhere in the game, so we're going to be seeing just how much of the game is still possible. As always, if you enjoy the video, please subscribe. Let's get right into it. Today, again, we are doing the Super Mario Odyssey 2D mod by Amethyst. And we're gonna be doing a challenge run where our goal is to play through as much of the game as possible as 2D Mario, sort of like how in a minimum captures run, you try and play through as much of the game as possible without doing any captures. We are trying to do as much of the game as possible without being 3D Mario. So as soon as we gain control of Mario here, we're going to get swapped into 2D and we're going to have a counter in the top left corner that you can see now that is going to track every single time we switch back into 3D Mario because it is unfortunately impossible to beat the game as this little 2D guy. All right. Sound good? Sounds good. Heck yeah. So immediately we are already in two player mode. I set that up before the run and that's because there are some cool quirks to two player mode in 2D or oh no, I just died. Run is ruined. No, it's not. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need to cut it out of the tank. So there's some cool quirks for uh, 2D Mario and we can just sort of like float in two player mode. This is like something the base game adds. And since we're 2D everywhere, we can just use this whenever we want. So we're gonna be playing a ton of this run in two player mode solely because it lets us float. All right, so we're gonna be doing our first swap here to capture the um, the frog. So as you can see in the corner, it now says we have one total swap. So essentially, every time we need to capture something, it, we're going to get one swap because there's, you know, we're not 2D anymore. All right, so we're coming up to the end of Cap Kingdom here, and uh, we're going to be fighting Spewart. Or sorry, not Spewart, Topper, but it's 2D Mario. Just sort of beat him up like normal. <laughs> no, come back here. Why is it every time I do challenges for YouTube, I screw up the Topper fight? I feel like if you go back and watch like any of my videos and watch the Topper fight, I always screw up. But anyways, that's fine. Uh, we're going to be swapping again to get to the wire and um, go into Cascade Kingdom. Before we go on to the next kingdom, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is an app or browser extension that essentially lets you place your computer anywhere in the world so that you can use the internet just like you're in that country. This lets you do a ton of cool things, like watch certain region lock content you wouldn't normally be able to access, such as shows only available in the Netflix catalogs of Japan or the United Kingdom. One Surfshark account can be used on an unlimited number of devices, and since I've been traveling a lot lately, I've made sure to install Surfshark on both my phone and laptop so that when I'm on public Wi-Fi network, works, I can keep my data protected. This has been super helpful whenever I've been using the internet in an airport or at a hotel because Surfshark uses military grade encryption to blur my data so that anyone who sees it won't be able to read a thing. Their 24 month VPN plan is honestly a great deal that I've been using for a bit now. They also have a great offer where you can get three months extra and up to 83% off. Just scan the QR code on screen or click the link in the description and use my promo code. Thanks again to Surfshark. Back to the video. So coming into Cascade Kingdom, we're already gonna be doing some sick speedrun tech for the 2D mod, because yes, the 2D mod has speedrun tech. So we're going to be skipping the first moon because we'd need to go into a capture. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna jump in the water, jump again on top of it, because you can do that as 2D Mario, and then swap back to one player mode, because for some reason you can't cap bounce in two player mode, but in one player mode you can, I don't know, it's weird. But basically we're using the wall hover to get some extra height. And then as soon as we're up against the wall, we swap back to one player mode, which will let us cat bounce and get up and skip the first moon. And this saves a whole swap into 3D. See, there we go. Easy. Second try. We'll take that. So we can't do dino skip because that'd be another swap. Uh, but you might be thinking like, oh, what are you going to do? There's like the chain chomp over here. How am I going to get through that without swapping? Well, there's more speedrun tech. Um, this one, the people who run the min 2D category have called this gaslighting. Um, because you trick the game into thinking you're 2D and it just clips you into the wall. Now, I died that time, but I won't die this time. We need to, we need to try and get into the pipe using this little gaslighting trick. So if I do this right, we'll go into the pipe and into the 2D area without capturing the chain chomp, saving a swamp into 3D. And while we're here, we might as well, uh, might as well get a moon. 
All right, so now we got to do the Madame Brutal fight. I have to be careful here because every time I swap into 3D to capture the Chain Chomp, there's a five second timer. And specifically during the Madame Brutal fight, if that timer ends and I swap back to 2D Mario, the game soft locks. So I need to get every single one of these hits, hits within the five second window or else the uh, the game's gonna just soft lock and I'm gonna be stuck. But generally speaking, if I time everything right, we can get the uh, entire capture and hit within the five second window we have every time we swap to 3D. All right, we just gotta get one more hit. All right, we're good. <laughs> we got it. Easy fight. So here we come into Sand Kingdom, and I know Mario isn't 2D during the like animations that are playing, but that is just a game limitation. So don't worry about it. Those don't count. Now that that's cleared up, because I know there's going to be like 500 people commenting it anyways, um, it's time to do Sand Kingdom. So Sand Kingdom... Uh, generally speaking, pretty easy kingdom in this mod because we have a lot of moon options. God, getting these seeds are so annoying. Come on. Come on, Mario. Come on. You can do it. No, stop, please. This way. <laughs> stop it, please. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, I'll come back later after like that's grown in 15 minutes. I'm just gonna, you know, nothing suspicious going on here. Not at all. Whoa, that was the fastest 15 minutes of my life. That's crazy. That gaslighting trick we did earlier. Yeah, we can do it here too. Let's go. So we're going to use it to get this moon and then we're going to climb back up and use it again to get the Sphinx moon because we can't actually go in the Sphinx normally just by like talking to it because people don't like talking to 2D Mario for some reason. They're just toxic like that. And so we're just going to have to break into the Sphinx room and steal the money ourselves. Just like that. <laughs> Easy. Gosh, Mario moves so weirdly through the quicksand. He's like sliding on it. All right, so just four more moons to get. And fortunately, there's just two sub areas over here we can grab and move forward. The hover's so broken. It really is, but it's in the base game. This isn't a mod thing. This is literally a Super Mario Odyssey thing. If you play in two player mode in 2D sections, if the second player holds A, Mario just floats. This is not something the mod, the challenge mod adds in. It is just something in the game. It's not even a glitch. No, it's not a glitch in the base game. It is a feature. Like you see Cappy's eyes pop out. That's, it's, it's very intended. I, I unironically feel like this video is going to be a lot of people being like, wait, what? You can do that? What do you mean? But no, you can, you can actually just hover in in two player mode in 2D. All right, it is Lake Kingdom time. Lake Kingdom's honestly one of the, the more fun kingdoms in the mod, partially because it's easy, but also because in true 2D Mario fashion, you can just jump infinitely when you're in water. Like, look at this. We can just jump as much as we want. <laughs> it really feels like swimming in a 2D Mario game. All right, so something interesting is if we go on the flower, we're technically in that like spinning hover state and it actually keeps it going into 2D or into underwater. So we can still get the ground pound moon here, even if we can't normally ground pound as 2D Mario. It's actually pretty interesting that that is even something that works. The game really just has all these sorts of weird interactions with 2D Mario because he's never supposed to be in like a 3D space like this. All right, Rango, it's time to go down. Oh, heck. Uh, wait, no. Come on, just jump on him. <laughs> oh, I, I swear, if I die, this is going to be embarrassing. All right, there we go. That's one. Oh, that was scary. Come on. Yes, there we go. All right, we're in wooded now. Breaking the rock in 2D is so silly. <laughs> just break, please. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do the uh, little swap trick here again to just get some extra height and make it up here. Ah, oh, heck, it didn't work. Uh, you know what? I'm going around the long way. Heck this. We're just, we're just taking the long way. I can't be bothered to do that jump right now. We're on a journey, chat. That's it. It's, it's, it's just a journey. All right. We've finally made it around. I only lost like a minute for doing that. It's fine. All right. Since we're back in one player mode, I can do cat bounces again. So, um, we can jump up here to get this moon. Let's get this moon. And then we're going to swap back 
to uh, two player again because I want to be able to hover. So literally the trade off between like two player and one player mode In two player mode. We usually can't cap bounce, but we can hover in one player mode. We can cap bounce, but we can't hover. SMO, but I haven't eaten for a year and I am skinny. Yeah, I mean, that's that's basically this mod. SMO, but Mario is starving. Please subscribe to save him. That's the uh, that's the challenge today. <laughs> one like equals one sandwich. Yep. Yeah, that's it. But that's not going to stop us from beating him. All right, Bowser. Here I come. Wait, what does he look like in the cutscene? Can we even see Mario? <laughs> you can hardly see him. Oh, no, Bowser crushed him. Wait, I don't I don't like this. <laughs> We're skipping it. We're skipping this. This is not this is not appropriate. <laughs> I've, I've never watched that cutscene. <laughs> Oh, that was... Oh, no. My channel's gonna get age-restricted. Bowser, how could you? So this this fight is pretty normal. I'm, I'm still, like... I'm still a bit shook. <laughs> this is a pretty normal fight, even if we're 2D Mario, because we can still pick up the hat. It's just cap throws aren't normal, so it's a bit hard to, like, hit the cap when it's coming towards us. So I gotta, like, run away after throwing it. All right, there we go. Just one more hit. Come here, Bowser. I need revenge after what you just did. Literally gonna get me demonetized. <laughs> Pretty normal fight. Well, it was. It, it, it just, it, you know what? Never, never mind. Don't worry about it. All right. We're in Lost Kingdom. Uh, there is a major thing I have to worry about here, and it is if Cap, if Cappy gets stolen, the game softlocks because I can't ground pound um, Klepto to get Cappy back. So uh, I need to do this in a specific way. Man, I keep screwing up these jumps. I need to do this in a way where Cappy does not get stolen. And we can actually still do that without doing any swaps if I don't die. Gosh, dang it. All right, let's try, let's try this again. This movement is harder than, than it looks. Like when you're, when you're floating, Mario's movement is very floaty. Which, you know, is pretty self-explanatory, but it's it's hard, okay? All right, so we're up at this part of the level. So we're going to get one moon up here. So this is our first moon. And we have to get this moon, too. There's only, like, ten moons available in Lost Kingdom without swapping. So we literally cannot replace any of these moons I'm about to grab. So we have to get you. And this next moon, I might die, so we're gonna grab this checkpoint so I don't have to do that stupid jump at the beginning again. All right. Let's get you. Jump over this way. Oh my gosh. This platforming is very hard because I cannot see Mario's shadow, so it's impossible to have any sort of depth perception, which I guess makes sense. The man's literally flat, but still, it's annoying. All right, and then that's the last moon shard. I feel like I might fall and die after this cutscene. Please don't. Okay, we're good. Uh, we're gonna grab that checkpoint, go over here, grab this moon. We gotta get the moon in the 2D section, which we can actually get in a kind of fun way. Since we're 2D Mario, we can just grab the 2D moon and then warp away. We don't even have to walk in the 2D section. It's just like, oh, you're 2D, you can grab this moon. More of that gaslighting. That's my favorite trick name, it's so stupid, but like in a, in a good way. And then we just gotta get that one last moon under the bridge, which should be easy enough. I mean, I, I got it, but I died. All right, now we can warp back to the Odyssey and head to the next kingdom. So we're in Metro now. We're just gonna start off by doing the good old fashioned impossible jump trick jump, but as 2D Mario, which is literally only possible because of the 2D hover ability, which again, I'm gonna keep saying it. This is a real feature in the vanilla game. No, I am not gaslighting you. There's a part of me that's worried the more I mention the, uh, the 2D hover thing, the more people are not gonna believe me, which is the opposite opposite of the intended effect, which by the way, this is swap number six here to get up to this part. We're gonna grab the checkpoint and then we're going to do a safety save because there is a really hard trick inside the Metro City Hall interior. And if I screw it up, I need to make sure I can reload a save where I've only swapped six times. All right, so first thing here, we need to swap back to one player mode so we can do a cap bounce to get up this high. And then we have to swap back to two player mode. Yes, a lot of swapping, it sucks. And if we do that, we can jump off this rail, hover to gain some extra height, go back to one player mode to do a cap bounce. And I just barely missed it, gosh dang it. All right, let's try that again. Jump, one player mode, do the cap bounce. 
Swap back to two-player mode. This will let me get a little bit of extra height because the game will let you hover twice if you swap it, it cap bounce and swap back. And there we go, we're up. So now, unfortunately, we can't go high enough with like normal features to skip swapping here. So we're gonna do one swap. I'm gonna throw Cappy to the left. And this is actually gonna matter because now that I'm back in two player mode, we throw Cappy to the same direction I threw him while in 3D Mario. I don't know why this happens. It sort of just does. It's a quirk of the mod. And that's actually going to let us cap balance in two-player mode. So I can do a jump all the way up to the moon in the top left corner of this area. That is really hard. And if I screw this up, I'm going to have to reload that save. So I pray I do not screw this up. No! Wait, 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 wait. No! Oh, I have to do the entire city hall again. At least we saved, so I don't have to redo the entire run. Oh my gosh. And now we have a second attempt at this stupid hacking jump. I'm going to get it this time, though. I'm going to get it. Hey, there we go. Easy. First try. You guys, that first attempt never happened. I mean, what attempt? Haha, <laughs> yeah. All right. Now that we've done all that, we get another swap to get up to the top of City Hall. And then we're going to have to do another swap so we can capture this tank and defeat the fight. Just like that, the Mecha Wiggler is down. And you know, let's do some good old fashioned jump rope. You know, this is probably the most fitting moon in the entire mod that I've gotten this 2D Mario. Something about it just feels right. 97, 98, 99, 100. There's a lot of really annoying moons we have to get in this kingdom because there's just hardly any we can get. Like you would think a lot would be available, but because we can't talk to people without swapping, um, there's just really not much we can do because we can't even finish like the, the story and do the festival or anything like that. So we're stuck doing like sub areas like this, which that movement is actually really hard. I'm surprised I got that first try. What the heck? Yeah, you have to do so much like dumb garbage in this kingdom to actually be able to finish it without getting more swaps than we already have. Uh, be careful, I don't wanna do that stupid jump again. Back up here, there we go. That room is annoying, but man, I nailed it. All right, two more moons. And the last two we are going to get are in this sub area. This first one, pretty easy. Just pull the pull the lever, run through the crowd. I mean, we're 2D. It's not very hard to squish through people. But the second one is really annoying because I can only land on the balls of these uh, little posts or else I get stuck. But fortunately, you don't even get to see that because I got it first try. Oh my gosh, I'm just a gamer today. What the heck? I feel like I'm explaining these things so you guys understand what happens when it happens, but then it's just not happening. So you just have to believe me. All right, so we're in Snow Kingdom now. Surprisingly, this kingdom is actually kind of hard. Right off the bat, I am immediately going to go to um, one of these sub rooms. And the reason for that is because we have to knock off like 10 spinies into the poison by throwing Cappy. And since Cappy doesn't really get thrown in this mod, it's really annoying. So I just sort of have to like run in here try to knock off as many as I can before running out of health. And then we get a moon, come back in with our health refilled and do it again. So now that we've done that once, we're gonna go back here, get the moon at the start, and then go back into the same sub area. All right. Ooh, we're making really good progress this time. Ooh, okay, okay. We might only need to get one more moon. Four more. Just gotta be careful not to die because I don't have to redo this again. All right, let's hope we can get them to like walk to a good spot so I can just knock them off. All right, that's one, three, and then there we go, four. Nice. All right, let's just grab this moon over here real quick. And then we get another Rango fight. Yeah, this went well last time, didn't it? Bam, already one hit. Oh, two, the two quick ones. Oh, I missed it. Okay, okay. Watch this though. All right. 
and easy fight that was perfect that was a good one so now we're gonna warp back out to the odyssey so we're gonna be running over to captain toad and you might remember mario is shy or people hate his 2d appearance i don't actually know but um either way we have to swap to 3d to talk to toad and we're gonna do a little cap throw right before we talk to him and if you remember what that did it let us save the cap throw angle when we go back into 2d so now i can throw cappy this way and that's going to be enough to let us do Snowdram as 2D Mario. I just need to find my way back to the Odyssey because if I warp, it'll get rid of the saved cap through angle. All right, this is a this is a decent angle. I should be able to do it with this. Oh, whoops! I I fell. Ignore that. It's a bit it's a bit tricky because I'm using two controllers right now. Come on! Yes, just barely. Technically, first try. And just like that, we can leave the kingdom. All right. Seaside Kingdom, pretty easy kingdom, I'm gonna be honest. Has a lot of moons, and since it's water, uh, we can do that fun little thing where we can just sort of jump forever and swim around. Just fun. I like being able to, like, jump in water. Classic 2D water movement for Mario. Looks so funny. <laughs> like, yeah, you should be able to swim underwater, but it just, something about it looks wrong. I don't know what it is. All right, so the last two moons we're gonna grab are in the 2D section down here, and we can just sort of grab grab them without going into the 2D section, it might crash the game. And it's even more likely to crash the game when I on the second one, so we're not even gonna risk it. But that first one even sometimes crashes it. All right, there we go. And we are done with Seaside. So it's a chill kingdom in the middle of like all these really tough kingdoms in the challenge. So now we're in luncheon. Uh, fun thing about this kingdom, 2D Mario isn't affected by lava. All right, unfortunately, we're gonna be doing swap number 11 to get the Panboro to continue on with the story here. It's not really enough moons for us to get out of doing this. There we go. All right, now we're just gonna go back onto the lava. I mean, <laughs> Who needs a lava bubble? That would require being 3D. I'll get the notes moon in the way I want to get the notes moon. All right, let's grab that. So we're just not going to do this 2D section because we don't have to. And then we can just jump over on the moon. There we go. Easy enough. All right, this is probably my favorite room in the mod in Lunching Kingdom because it turns a lava bubble room into just a normal platforming challenge, which I think is really funny. I don't know. I, I just think it's neat. You wouldn't normally see Mario running and jumping around this. We just need to climb up here so we can get up to the meat. And this is going to be swap number 12. So I need to be really careful here. So we want to make sure we're in two player mode because Mario will sink into the soup if I jump in it. And that is bad because I have not done a safety save recently. And if I fall, I am pretty sure I am stuck. So we really don't want that to happen. So Ruin Kingdom, we are going to need to do another swap to get up to the dragon. But fortunately, that is the only swap we need to do in the kingdom. And you'll see why in a moment. So if I just jump on the dragon like this, Mar 2D Mario is just so dense and heavy. The dragon just dies. So we don't. We don't even need to don't even need to do the fight. So powerful. Yeah, it's because everyone subscribed earlier to make to feed Mario. He is no longer. Well, he's still skinny. He's just he's just so dense now. It all comes full circle. All right, come on, dragon. And we are done. Now that we're in Bowser's Kingdom, I'm immediately going to do another safety save. One, because it's been a while. And two, because we're going to be doing a lot of swapping in this kingdom because we have to go back to 3D to get past these wires. So we're going to be doing a ton of swaps just to clear the kingdom. Like right here, up to 14. Do another swap to get this wire. So we're up to 15 now. And then we can only kill this guy by ground pounding. So we need to do another swap. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good <laughs> so that's 16 now i thought i was i thought i was about to have to reload there that was close can you do a crc no you cannot uh crcs even in two player mode with the mod do not work so you cannot crc from one island to the next so yeah we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to do this again here 17th swap all right so really quickly we're gonna come up here grab another moon 
And uh, we're gonna do another safety save because what we're about to do here is very difficult. But what I have to do is I have to swap to go on this wire and then get to the wire on this island before Mario swaps back so I can do two wire captures in one 3D swap. It is very unlikely I get this on my first try, but we're gonna try it anyways. I only have about five seconds to get both captures. All right, so we swapped over. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting it. <laughs> All right, let's, this is why we saved. Let's try that again. Oh, I, all right, I got it, I think. I got it. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Yeah. Mario did not swap back until after the second um, uncapture. So we are good. I am so glad I got that in two tries. I just need to not die here because if I do, I'll have to do it again, potentially. All right, one more hit. Hey, that always feels satisfying to do. All right, now topper time. Topper, definitely a lot easier than Harriet. It honestly just feels like a normal topper fight since we have the uh, the angle from the, the trick still. Just like that, topper is down. All right, so now we have to do swap 19 to capture this Pokio so we can climb up the wall. Yeah, we can just climb up the entire wall with this one swap thanks to the Pokio. All right, nice. And now for swap 20, we have to capture this wire. And like that, we are up to Bowser. I really wish we could do this fight as 2D Mario, but we can't. So we're just gonna have to do one more swap all the way up to 21 now to finish this fight. And sort of like with Mecha Brutal, we just can do the whole fight with this one capture as long as we don't die. All right, that's one down. All right, one more hit. Just gonna make it up. Having speeder on this game so much, it's always weird to just do this fight normally. Like it, it just feels wrong. It just, it just doesn't feel right. Something off about it. So now we have Moon Gravity 2D Mario. Dude, he jumps so high. Look at him go. All right, so we're gonna grab a checkpoint here and then do a safety save because we're right at the end of the run and uh, there is another hard trick here. We're going to be doing Moon Skip with one swap because if we went into Moon Cave, we'd have to swap like five times. And that would, that's, it's just a good trade-off. So I just gotta, I just gotta get this. It's not too bad. All right, I think that's it. Nice, we got it first try. The five seconds makes for just enough time to do two wall jumps and make it, which is pretty great. All right, Bowser, are you ready? I'm just waiting for the like camera to turn around to see if just a flat Mario. He's, wait, where is he? He's not even here. <laughs> where did he go? Oh, there he is. Wait, no, he, Bowser. <laughs> All right, Bowser, here I come. It's so funny to see like Mario just running around with this big hat on, especially since he's just flat under there too. One more hit. And there we go. All right, Peach, let's get out of here. <laughs> he just dies. <laughs> Mario just gets crushed. <laughs> well, all right. So now we have one last swap for Bowser's capture. And Bowser is enough to bring us home to the end of the game. All right, last pillar. We're almost there. Come on. There we go. Super Mario Odyssey, minimum 3D. I guess that's what you can call it. I don't know what to call it. Um, Super Mario Odyssey, 2D mod done with the least amount of 3D that you possibly can, the least amount of swaps, I guess, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. That was fun. And honestly, that was a really good run. Normally this takes me like two hours. We we, we did it in an hour 40. That's, that's pretty fast. I'm not going to lie. 